Hey everybody, my name is Rummy Pod. Today I want to talk about the Logitech Keys to Go keyboard along with LumaFusion on the iPad Pro 2018. Everything I make for this channel has been made on the iPad Pro, so I want to show you how I do that along with tools like the keyboard. This has made the iPad a pro device. It has made it so that editing on LumaFusion has been faster, easier, more fun, and less frustrating. Now there is one update that I want to give you on this keyboard about why it might not be the best for editing, but why it is still awesome for traveling, for using easily, and for trusting that it will be safe. That's an important one. So I'm gonna show you shortcuts, I'm gonna show you how I use the keyboard, and I'm just gonna give you a background on my workflow with this keyboard. I'll just warn you, I don't have every shortcut memorized. There's a solid amount, but I'll show you where to find them. Okay, so here's a video on my YouTube workflow. I was completely real with you. I don't know every shortcut that's on LumaFusion, but you can find it with the curly square button or the command key. Hold that thing down and that'll pull up every shortcut that you need. Super useful. I'll use this when I need to find a new feature or when I need to do something faster. Right now, I have found a flow with what I currently do and I'll show that all to you. I am still trying to learn all of them. I have a lot of fun working faster and smarter and trying to learn that, but right now I'm happy with what we got. So the biggest function that I will use is the space bar, which is the play pause button. And I'm just gonna skip this because that's so much. So much hair flip, so much too much. Play pause, just like on Final Cut, just like on iMovie. I was really pleased to find that just because I'm so used to it. And from there, my next function that I use the most is the blade or the scissor kind of cut function. So that's command B, that'll cut the clip. And make sure that you choose the clip that you wanna cut because sometimes it'll choose like the voiceover or the sound above it. Make sure you choose your right clip. And you can choose a clip using C. So if I wanna choose the clip to the left, I can hit shift left, and that'll go left a little bit, and then I can hit C and it will select it. Shift just gives you bigger chunks of skipping. If you just hit the right arrow, it'll give micro movements, and you can watch me blink super slow. Okay. Now, I don't really want that clip right here to the left, so I'm gonna left arrow that one, C to select it, and Command X just to delete it, because I just, I don't need that in there. Cool. Wait. Hold on. Hold up. Wait. I want that back. I want that back. I changed my mind. Command Z. Let's say you get real fancy with LumaFusion, like I tend to do occasionally when I really need to make the video look better. So I can go in and color grade. I'll just pick something that's already available. Fake light, I call this one because it looks like fake light and it's not actually red. So if I wanna take that color grading, I can Alt A that one, copy it. I don't know if there is a keys to go copy paste function. I would like to know. From there what I can do is shift arrow that one, C to select it where that line is, and then Alt A and paste it. And then we have fake light on both. Now bear with me because I want to give you an update on the keys to go and just some background on using the iPad to edit. Some people say it's not possible, some people think that you know it's not a pro device, it can't do this or that. I want to give you the T on it give you all the tea and just say it is very possible. Now I need a voiceover. Let's do a voiceover. So that is Alt V and that'll pull up the voiceover function. Now we got super lucky with the microphones on this iPad built in. I don't own USB-C headphones. I just don't. The microphones on the iPad are actually really nice. I don't have a problem with them and I tend to just do my voiceovers with the iPad. Not so bad. So those are the biggest functions that I use on the keys to go with LumaFusion. I think it's really useful to have a keyboard. I noticed that I use my pencil a lot less, so that is something to keep in mind. If you are trying to edit with the pencil, I would just say go for a keyboard. Go for the keyboard and unless you draw a lot, like I actually, I really enjoy doing that. I really enjoy creating logos. So I go for the pencil, I go for the keyboard and I make it a whole package. Just saying, you kind of just need the keyboard for editing. Okay everybody, don't forget to like and subscribe whenever you get a minute. I would super appreciate that, trying to grow this channel and super excited about it. And I really do believe that just adding a keyboard makes it more of a pro device. And I am gonna call it a pro device. I know that's bold, I know, please. Okay, let's get to the overall about using LumaFusion and the keys to go. I really like editing with the keyboard, but the thing is, this isn't very clicky. 
like that one. Okay, sure. I'll give you that one. That one's pretty clicky. It's not that different. Like just to just to say it. The key travel on this keyboard, there is no travel. If it was a travel, it would be like up in an elevator. It really is not that far. It's not like a road trip. It's not cross country and it's not international by far. If international was like a desktop keyboard. I would have liked this keyboard to be more clicky. I would have liked it to have a little bit more tactile function, a little bit more responsiveness when I touch it. As I'm editing, as I am doing all of these things, it would just be nice to know that there's something going on at the same time. And sometimes I hit these two, the command and the spacebar at the same time. And somehow that pulls up Siri, somehow that pulls up the search function. I feel like that could have been solved with buttons that were just a little bit deeper. Now, you can travel with this keyboard very well. I throw this in my backpack all the time and I feel really comfortable that it's not gonna break, it's not gonna, none of the keys are gonna snap off, and if I spill something on it, it's not gonna glitch out. I trust that, and that is pretty much the biggest reason why I use it, and the biggest reason why I do travel with it. And to update on my review, I like these. These are nice to have. These are like the home button, the multitasking button, a search button, keyboard button, music back and forth, pause, volume, Bluetooth. It is so useful to have all of these keys right there. Keys to go, you put some nice buttons on here. You really did. They just needed to go further. Okay, so this video was requested by Corey Smee on YouTube. He has his own channel. He makes a ton of stuff from his iPad. And honestly, I think that the future of computing is mobile, so I think that he is doing it right. He was ahead of the game, and using the iPad, it really is not so bad. I think it's awesome. You can create cool stuff like this picture of insomnia. Man, oh, that thing is real. Anyway, make sure to check out Corey Sme on YouTube. I'll link him down below. Corey, thank you so much for requesting this video. That was awesome. So what do you think? What do you think of this setup? Do you think that this is functional? Do you think that this is usable? Are you using it? Do you think that you could use it? And do you think that I'm right that this is the future of computing? That using maybe a detached keyboard, maybe something like an iPad, do you think that's possible? I think you know my opinion. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Romy Pod. I have a lot of fun making these videos and I intend to put one out about every week and I wanna make sure that I am absolutely inspired when I make it because that makes the best product. Thank you, Insomnia. Awesome, it's getting so dark in here. I am working on the lighting still to this day. I struggle so much with lighting, but we are getting there. Cool, I'll see you soon. Rummy Pod, Rummy Pod. He holds a thousand songs and he draws on his iPad. He sings lots of songs and what are those lips?